hey guys welcome to lawyer tips so today we'll be looking at here this one whenever we click on this view all we'll be showing all the articles here in the next page so let me just go back here and okay let us go to this home index here so we have, what we have done is we have just faced the articles here so whenever we click on this view all we are being taken into this articles here this articles url so here whenever we visit this this articles index will be called so here also we'll do the same thing guys so here we'll just copy this here and just we'll paste it here and this one also we'll just copy in the setup so that's why guys whenever we, we are using this composition api then it is very easy to compose the things and keep the logics in one place so all the logics is currently in this place and we are just fetching this and we'll just also copy this all of this and just return it like this now here also we can see here guys the articles here yeah and what we'll do is we'll just copy this and pass it here as a probe articles so in the previous video we have already made props inside this articles component here yeah so it will just work we don't have to do any other thing so here okay we have done this articles yeah so let me save here and come back here and if it's the base you okay, guys something went wrong here so let me just look at here what is it saying can i read the property name oh yeah sorry so what happened is so here if we just look here in the view and if we look here in this index yeah so here we'll get the data property yeah so what we have to do is we have just to just pass it dot data over here like this and now let me refresh here now you can see here guys we are getting this list of articles over here so everything's fine so it's just working normal so we have just from here home just we have just clicked on here and whenever we click on that this it will this index articles will be rendered and this will be called and we are calling the fetch articles over here and just returning the articles and it is showing it over here and there is also loading loading we'll just call it as well from here loading and let's say whenever we click on this view more will show here loading okay so whenever we click on this will show other more articles but if we look here in our api so it will not work so for that we just need to do pagination yeah it's kind of pagination so whenever we click on let's say view more we'll call now page two now in the next time whenever we again hit the view more we will call page three like that so instead of this gate we'll just do simple simple paginate and let's see what the things will be returned so if we look here in our this api again so here we'll get other things as well this links and meta also previously we didn't get this links and meta but now we'll get this links and meta and both will be object so here in our this use articles so here we have defined this data so let's say here links and meta like this so if we look here in this blogs and if we go to the home page so something uh, something is broken over here so guys look at here guys we are not able to see anything here so if you look here it is saying this okay timeout accident and okay so the cal it, it has been cancelled so what happened is guys so if we see here so we are calling this limit as well as simple page in it yeah so simple page in it will do automatically limit itself so we don't need to pass here so we'll do just this and we'll pass it over here like this and we'll just remove it from here so simple page in it will automatically add the limit so now let me refresh here okay guys now everything is working so you can see here and when we click on view all then also i am going to this article space and everything is working as normal okay now whenever i click on this we'll call the same api but we'll add some parameters so what this simple page in it does is whenever we pass uh, page equals to one then it will load this first one and whenever we pass page equals to two as a parameter then it will just paste the data of the next page so now we have to just pass 
here in the request as a base equals to one two three like that so let's do that from in the view.js part here okay so here in this use articles here we are fetching the articles and let's say if there is no any page then the page number will always be one so let's say here params is empty object and we'll do some object destructuring here let params like this yeah and page will always be one if nothing is passed so if it is passed then we'll just use that one and we also have to know that whether we have clicked on show more or not because if let's say if we here in the home page so currently it is error but in the home page there will not be any show more button or view more button yeah so we have to know that as well also so let's say here show more more will be false by default so guys here uh, it is coming from the params okay so from this whatever we have passed here it will be this params dot page or params dot show more like that but if there isn't that property then we are just defining a default over here and here we'll pass data and since it is a get so we have to pass params and i'll say here page will be page and if the page is page, then we don't have to pass this second parameter. It will, if we only write page here, then it will automatically do whatever we have done just before. And now guys, okay, so we have passed the page number. Now let's say if so more is not clicked, then it will, it must be as before, okay? So if not so more, then it will be as previous. Okay, so let's see now. So here everything is okay. So now if we go here in the home page, then something is wrong here. So let me increase this one second for this, okay, guys, because I think it's a little bit slower. So let me just make it 10 seconds. Then everything is also working fine. So if I again go here in the view all, then also everything is working fine. So it is, everything is working as previously. So now let's say if we click on this view more, we'll just call this page articles but here we'll pass different page number and so more will be true so here if we go here in the um, articles index so here we'll say whenever it is clicked clicked then we'll say here so more articles here so we are calling this method so it means that it must be returned from here it means and it must be defined here function so more articles here we'll cut this fetch articles but we'll pass some params here so here so more will be true and page number will be the next page number so let me just write page number two for now and let's see here okay guys so here in the network so if you see here in this meta yeah so current page will be this current underscore page inside this meta and we can access this from the this articles okay so articles dot meta dot current page so we'll see here articles dot meta dot current underscore page plus one so if it is a page number current page is one then it will be two and if again current page will be two then it will be three okay and let's say we reach at the end of the page then we cannot just add one yeah so if we reach at the end of the this data then we'll just hide this view more so we'll see how to do that as well and now just let me clear this and now if i click on view more we are seeing this error okay guys because yeah we have to just get dot value from here yeah since it is ref so articles dot value dot meta dot current page so now if i just click on view more and if i look here in the network so you can see here guys this is called but nothing has happened because we haven't done anything so nothing has happened so here it is returning this and current page is two over here so now let's just show that data over here yeah so it is giving us the same data so now here in the articles use articles so let me just reboot this if else yeah so here so if there is a so more then we'll do it here so what we want is we want to append whatever is in the this articles data array we want to append everything that we have got so if we see here what everything that is in this data here so there are next six data so we want to just push it into this data 
so i'll say here articles dot value equals to so it will be response dot data so whatever we have so it is just like this okay right so i'm just spreading so that i could override the data so it is just like this here now what we have to do is so now it already has this this data links and meta so now we want to override this data so we want the old values in the beginning and the new values in the end so what we'll do here is data like this and we'll just do a spread here so here old will be articles.data and new will be response.data.data in the response.data we'll get all the articles in this form and from that we'll get this data here okay guys so let me save it so now i have done it so now let me just show you here in the beauty of this also here in the router view and here in the so currently there are six data yeah so now if i click on here like this okay i'm getting some error and attempt to spread on non iterable instance and here sorry guys i have to just again say value so i always forget this one so so now here okay let me clear it and here in the view let me show you this one and if i click on view more so you can see here guys i am getting other data data as well so and here currently we can't see the images because there aren't images added in the back end so that that's why we are not seeing it here so just forgive me for that guys so i <laughs> i just added the images for only the nine posts okay that's here but we are not seeing here this loading yeah so let's do that as well so whenever we face this article so this loading will be true and if i come here yeah you can say just wrap with span here and we'll say loading so if if loading so loading if not so view more so this loading is coming from this yeah which is coming from this use articles okay so let me refresh here one more time and if you look here carefully whenever i click on view more it must show a loading icon so you can see here it was showing a loading for a little bit time so we can see here now guys whenever the data is completed so there are no more any more data then we must hide this view more so if i show you here in the network so if i click on view more yeah we are calling page number three and there are some data and again if i click on view more so page four there are some data so there are two data there aren't six data but also it is showing view more so if i again click on here it will show page number five and there will not be data and again i will click here but no data will be shown so it is not a good user experience so if we see here in the links the next will be null so if there isn't the next page url yeah so there aren't any more data so this next will be null and if i show you here in the first one so here in the links previous value will be previous url will be null here because there will not be any previous url when we are in the first page and when we are in the last page let's say we are in the currently in the four then here in the links the next there will be null so we'll say here if the next is null then we'll not show this view more so here we'll only show this so in the template we don't need to pass dot value yeah so it will be easier here so we'll just say articles dot links dot next next is not equal to null so it is not equal to equal to okay this one is since i am using a different font so it is showing it like this so it will be not equal to equal to so if it is not null then only we'll show it otherwise we'll not show it so guys currently so i've reloaded and there are only six data yeah? so now if i again click on view more so i can see some more data so if i again click on view more so i can again see the data now if i click on view more so now that view more is already hidden because there are no any more data so that's now a good user experience now the video is getting very long guys so we'll be just showing this so if we click on this one and we'll show this we are showing this currently which is static yeah data so we'll be just accomplishing this in the next video whenever we click on that we'll call the api and we'll get we'll create a new api where we'll get the details every details of the articles and we'll show it here so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye